without trying, you already know. Without trying, ain't it? Shout out without trying, man. Without trying. Shout out to without trying. This is my man without trying on YouTube. O D E N T. W T Geography. I'm here with my man without trying. He does everything without trying. So. Without trying. O D E N T T V. Shout out to without trying group for just uh, letting me get my CDs done here. I they do CDs. They do videos. Shout out to without trying. Without trying, gang. Shout out without trying. Y'all already know how we roll. Alright, shout out without trying. Uh, big, big, big shout out to without trying. Without trying on Instagram. I without trying. That's the big homie. Get all the money out. Get all the booty out. Get all the bitches out. Make them know what's up. Hit them up at without trying. Do what it do. Without trying, gang. Who the fuck is all these new people? Five hours ago, who is without trying TV? Anybody know who that is? I do this without trying, it don't really take no effort. Ooh, hotter than a leopard in the desert in a sweater. Ooh, told you that I'm busy, nigga. Let me check my schedule. Ooh, let me check my schedule. Ooh, let me check my schedule. Ooh, swear I ain't never tried when it came to this rapping. I put no effort in it. I ain't never said I'd be snapping. They say the flow real rare. Like the meat that you eat. No homo, but I can't. Can't rap, I be playing the streets. Six foot six. I'm rarer than a bitch. I'm handsome. I got money. I'm black. All this shit. I got 20 cars. House paid out. I got my shit together. All around the board. So I move like that, bro. I put in, I run three miles on you niggas. I already did my 50 this month. I'm finna do 53 on you niggas just because I can't sit on my ass. All right, get it. Don't work for me. Yeah, and when you do shit like that and you got your shit together, you gonna move around with this same keen confidence. Keen confidence, I like that. We should name this sermon, keen confidence, yeah. Whoa, 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 what she gonna do? Man, are you out here, kid? I will tell you that, you can find a bad bitch any way you look. You can go, at least in Houston, you can go to the park, find bad bitches. You can go to the gym and find bad bitches. You can go to the grocery store, find bad bitches. You can go to the club, find bad bitches. You can go anywhere in Houston and find a bad bitch, right? Fellas, for references, you can't do that with a rich nigga. You can't find a rich nigga like that. It's rare you gonna find a rich nigga here, rich nigga there. He might got muscles, but he ain't got that money. He might got this, but he ain't black. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with me, fellas. Know who you is. Get your shit together and stand on business, nigga. Get your shit together and stand on business, nigga. King confidence, nigga. Walk around and sound like I ain't accepting nothing but the bitch who jumping. And I ain't leaving to America to go sow my raw oats. I'm staying with the bitch who's ready to jump for me. We moving on like kings, you know what I'm saying? We ain't arguing. We ain't gonna talk about why we going out with our partners tonight. We ain't doing none of that. We coming home to our food on a tray and we getting massages and shit and we getting, we, she ain't, when you're a king, nigga, you can't even leave the house without getting head, nigga. They know how rare you is, nigga. They not gonna let you leave without doming you up, nigga. What? You niggas talking about that video ain't real. That video is my life, nigga. A bitch ain't gonna let me leave the house without doming me up, nigga. She knows. She like, nah, I'll keep this nigga off them hoes. We know them hoes gonna be on him because he gonna pull up in one of them cars or let me dome him up so he'll be done for the day. This old ass nigga can't bust too. I know that. We tried that. So he, he know he ain't, I know he ain't gonna do nothing else if I get this shit out of him. You gotta be like, damn, boo, I need that for the gym. Get up off me. I can't do it. I'm tired. I'm trying to go to the gym. What you doing? You, it's against my workout. Yeah, nigga, get your money right. When you got your money right, this is the type of life you live, nigga. Straight up like that. King confidence, nigga. And they gonna agree. And they want a nigga like you. No matter how tough she is, she want a nigga to, hey, shut the fuck up, man. Make a nigga a sandwich. What the fuck is she talking about? They need that, bro. They need that. Most of these baddies got daddy issues anyway. They want you to be their motherfucking daddy, nigga. And you acting like the daughter. <laughs> you whining like a little bitch. So how she gonna respect you? She gonna come, 
I'm a slap on that. Hey, bitch, go over here. Down me up. I'm an axe board. I'm gonna say, yeah, down me up. You old shy ass nigga scared to even see it. Yeah, nigga, they like keen confidence, nigga. They don't like that weak ass shit. Ask any woman. They don't like that weak ass shit, nigga. Step your motherfucking keen confidence up, nigga. But you can't be talking all this shit broke either, though. You can't be just talking all that shit if you ain't got nothing going on. Because most time they gonna have shit going on and they gonna shit on you when you ain't got your shit together. So understand that. That's why I encourage you motherfuckers every single day, get your money right, nigga. Get your mind right first in the gym or whatever, your, your body right. That's the first step in showing. See, see now what I just told you, I say a nigga look at you with your baby mama name on your neck. Niggas ain't gonna wanna do business with you cause nigga gonna be like, this nigga making stupid decisions. You feel what I'm saying? But if you a nigga in shape, oh, they gonna say, oh, this nigga got enough discipline to go to the gym and take care of itself. You know, be healthy, you know, so shit, he might be, I might get trusted a little more. I feel like he might show up. He's showing signs of uh, hustle, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's all a nigga got to base it off of. Nigga don't know you, but a nigga just can say, okay, this nigga here look like he take care of himself, he on his shit, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? And this not only helps you as when you talking to motherfuckers and trying to do business, it also helps you with self-confidence and your mental. It make you stronger as a nigga. I'm strong, I can hit this gym and fuck this shit up. It ain't nothing for me to conquer. Uh, I'm confident because I look in the mirror and I'm, I ain't got the man boobs I used to have. Yeah, nigga, all that shit go together. And you ain't shy. Nigga, you walk in the room and take your shirt off and get naked in front of a bitch when it's time to go down. You shy ass niggas got your t-shirt on. <laughs> Nigga walking out with that t-shirt on, hella timid. Nigga, I get butt naked on them hoes, nigga. What? Hell yeah. I will say this, though. I be mad, because I don't be, I be, man, my, my, um, my massage lady ain't with the shit, so she ain't trying to give a nigga no happy ending or nothing. I hate that every time I get a massage, I'm hella soft. I be like, damn, I'm misrepresenting this. <laughs> I be trying to smash, I ain't Man, it's some bullshit, nigga. And this whole misrepresenting. I be in that whole sleep. When you lay down and you got high blood pressure, you out of there, kid. It take a special kind of uh, super sucker to make a nigga with high blood pressure land on his back, go up and all that. It's a special. You got to be next to Superhead to do that shit when you got high blood pressure laying on your back. High blood pressure niggas got to sit up. We can't just lay on our back. All that riding shit, I might have to pop one, baby, because... And shit don't be working. It be, you know what I'm saying? I be out of juice. I be like, damn, there's some whole ass shit I'm misrepresenting. I be trying to think of freaky shit to make my shit, you know, warm up a little bit. I can't come up with nothing. I be so caught up in the workout. I mean, the uh, massage. It be brighten that bitch. Yeah, man. You came in at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, I don't get no happy endings yet. I'm trying to figure out, find me a, a massage. Woo, that one was thick. I ain't got no happy in yet, but we gonna figure that out. That's the boss life. We gonna get there one day. We gonna find us one that get down like that. We gonna get. We probably, I'm, I'm thinking find me a little Colombian masseuse place or some shit, lady or something that'll travel. So if it's any like Colombian, got the same kind of mind frame of a Colombian from overseas. If you thinking like that, like how they get down over there, hit my DM about it. You know we got a budget for that. Cause that's how I want my life. Don't me up after I get my little workout. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my little massage. I want to live like a king, man. It ain't that. I ain't cheating. That's just a part of. You know, you do that in China. They let them do that shit in Japan and all that. Africa. This shit is only a problem in America, bro. Y'all niggas think like women and white folks. It's only a problem in America. Everywhere you go, they let the wives let their husband get happy endings and shit. They don't even be tripping. They like, yeah, we know he do it. He ain't marrying a bitch. He coming home to us. We don't give a fuck. Only in America, the land of the free, they say. <laughs> you can't do this shit, right? Only in America, the land of the free, so-called, you can't do this shit, right? Exactly. Bullshit. You motherfuckers the biggest. Y'all most scams, and I don't know, man. Stop playing. Wow. Only in America, the land of the free, you can't pay for to get your shit domed up. They gonna say it's illegal. How the fuck is you gonna hate on me, nigga? We doing business. 
Overseas, nigga, you go over there to Columbia, nigga, you get all that. I'll be out there. Hey, what a happy ending. Run that. Yeah, all in the land of the free, you can't get a, a happy ending. If that ain't the biggest motherfucking scam I ever heard in my life, kid, stop the cap. Stop the cap. I ain't shit free about over here. This shit, everything costs. Everything got taxes and all that. Racism. What about global warming? Some on that watching time and see. This nigga, Deshaun Watson, was a whole millionaire, man. I don't know, probably got a hundred million, right? And couldn't get a happy ending? What did you go to all this practice for in life, nigga? Like, what do we did all this for? We can't celebrate? We up now? We can't get a motherfucking happy ending? Like, we ain't trying to marry a motherfucker. We ain't trying to do nothing. Just a happy ending and leave. The fuck? Yeah, a millionaire. You can't get this shit. It should be some type of bonuses that come with this shit. Nigga shouldn't just be, oh, I got money now, but I still got the same rules as a broke nigga. No, nigga, I need to be rewarded with specs. You got more money, you can pay for the AMG kit, nigga. You can pay for the, you know what I'm saying, the lower mother. All that. Why I can't pay for a happy ending? I want the happy, I want the AMG kit massage. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to go right home after this and chill. You know what? That's going to make me happy. I'm going to say, man. Massage was good. I had a good massage today, boo. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Had a good ass massage. Can your woman do that though? No, she ain't the king. If she is the king, maybe she can. She But you know what I'm saying? She ain't the king. Stop trying to do what niggas do. Y'all not niggas. I don't give a fuck how much money y'all make. You can't do what a nigga do. So stop it. Y'all can try all y'all want. I don't give a fuck what kind of job you got. Your car. You ain't no nigga. I don't give a fuck. You still need a nigga to help you pick up shit. You still need a man. So snap out of that shit and get back to what, what's real. Motherfucking uh, James Brown. <laughs> it's a man's world. It's a man's world. Y'all ain't gonna fight. Y'all ain't gonna go to war and do all that. Well, maybe some of y'all is. But let me say, just let me shut up. It is a lot of women here. So what can she do? She can live in that big ass house. She can cook for me and take care of me. She can travel the world with me. She can eat all the best food of the world, restaurants. We can travel, go to every event together. We can do uh, cuddle in the motherfucking bed, watch Netflix and chill. Motherfucking, she can stay in the penthouse or the big house or the motherfucking, we go 12 countries a year. Yeah, that what the fuck she can do. How about that? All right, how about that? Okay. <laughs> what you mean about the kids? How about the kids? What about the kids? She can live like a queen, facts. She ain't gonna be living like a savage. If you with me and I'm a king, then that make you the queen, right? Right. So what are we talking about? Why are you worried about them hoes? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You the queen. Them bitch ain't, what is the problem? Women under the, all over the world understand this concept. Sounds like a servant. <laughs> she say it sounds like a servant. I just said, nigga, you ain't been to 12 countries in your life. You ain't been to no, you ain't never been to Maestro's. You ain't never been to motherfucking Steak 48 and you talking about it sound like a servant. Shut the fuck up, nigga. This is a, a king, queen motherfucking, a king and a queen doing the shit you ain't never did, nigga. And being places you ain't never gonna go. <laughs> Everyone shut his life. You niggas better snap out and tell her she live like a servant. What the fuck? How she live like a servant if she with me? I don't live like no motherfucking servant. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you can't have... And that's the fucked up thing about them girls, man. Them girls are being your ear saying that. Girl, why you over there cooking for that nigga? You already tired from working on this. Hold up, boo. You in a 7,000, 10,000 square foot home. 
Yeah, cook, motherfucker, because who ain't, because you ain't, a nigga in the hood gonna be, be the same way. No. Yeah, nigga, like, what the fuck? Hell yeah, cook. Hell yeah, take care of the kids. Hell yeah, do all that. Sis, you can hire a servant. Cleaning service, duh. Y'all lazy as fuck to even be thinking like that. You ain't want to do the work. You want to just finesse your way, and that's why y'all shit in it. Because a nigga realizing, man, I'm going to work. I'm the nigga who got the money. And your ass just want to sit in the house and don't even want to do shit. You don't even want to help a nigga. No way. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to do your part. You just want a free ride. The shit you supposed to do, you trying to pay somebody to do. Get your motherfucking ass up and clean this shit up. I come home from work eight hours and shit. I'm paying all these niggas out here. Got bitches taking care of them and shit. And I got your dog ass up in here, man. You better clean this shit up, man. I don't give a fuck. And them kids, keep my kids straight. You ain't doing nothing but sitting on your ass. You better get the fuck up. And y'all want cleaning services and y'all can't cook. And that's why y'all getting divorced. Okay? And that's why y'all getting divorced. Because a nigga figuring out, man, what am I paying all this shit for? She ain't even doing shit. I want a regular woman. I want a regular woman that do all this shit. Nigga don't want this privileged motherfucker right here who thinks she me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that privileged motherfucker who thinks she me. You ain't me. I'm the one who actually getting up and doing this shit. If you don't appreciate it, watch another bitch will. And then I seen somebody in my comments say, <laughs> uh, hey, that's what I, I seen somebody in my comments say on that video. Um, cleaners are cheap. All right, now look what the dude said. That's when niggas start playing in snow. That's when niggas start playing in snow. These other race women will do that shit. It's black. I got a black woman that'll get down like this, though, by the way. But I'm saying the culture of these other people are taught to do this. These Spanish ladies, y'all be like, why the fuck are y'all here with that Spanish? She's doing everything I say. It's the video. The lady on the video was Spanish. These women are raised to do this type of shit. And y'all get mad at us like, you over there, fucker. Well, the bitch is doing everything I say. I'm living like a fucking king. What you want me to do? I love black women. But you over here talking about I got to pay the cleaning lady and you just going to. Nah, boy, it ain't adding up. Like, what we gonna do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? There's <laughs> always somebody who are who is willing to do what the next person won't do. That's why I say, fellas, only settle for what you really want. The want the life you want. If you want that video like yesterday, it's out there, nigga. I live that life. Trust me. I'm not lying to you. I live that life, nigga. I get whatever I want. Breakfast in bed, foot massages, head, whatever the fuck I want, I get it. It's out there, kid. Trust me. So, I only fuck with who got that type of energy. If she ain't treating you like a king, don't treat her like no queen. If she ain't treating you like a king, don't marry her. If she not treating you like a king, don't marry her. That ain't your wife, kid. Your wife's supposed to treat you like a, a, a king. Fuck the bullshit. If she ain't treating you like a king, she got you getting up making a sandwich. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. Doug said there was a lot of women that's gonna do this, and I ain't gotta do this, so I'm gonna try to see if I can see something right quick. Yeah. It's out there, fellas. It's out there for sure. It's just about you niggas. It's a, it's a scam of life. Hey, man, you got to hurry up and settle down. Hurry, you got to hurry up and do this. Hell. You got to hurry up and lock me down. Hurry up and do this. I got to stop her before she get with another nigga. I got to Nah, nigga, it ain't about keeping nobody. It ain't about making people stay. The actual person for you is naturally not going nowhere. They going to stay there. They going to pull up. They going to be there every day without no type of guarantees. Just out for love. Like, I can't go nowhere. Cause this is who the fuck I fuck with. It's my person. Like, I can't go nowhere. It ain't even an option. Anybody who uses you as an option saying, nigga, if you don't do this, I'm leaving. Okay. Well, you must have not been for me. And I ain't gonna waste my five years here or my ten years here. I ain't paying for this hundred thousand dollar wedding for your ass either. Cause it's, it's obviously you can leave me. So if you can leave me, I don't need you. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man. This is how that shit go. It's and everybody, I'm going to tell you the biggest problem with the whole world, man. The biggest problem with the whole world is, and in y'all, and I'm going to tell y'all, as my boy Drizzy, 
I'm gonna tell y'all as a nigga who, who think different only because I grew up, like I said, I never had a job. I'm independent. Uh, and I did it this certain kind of way. I had to always think for, whoa, there's some work going on out here, kid. I'm gonna run that way. And I had to think for myself along the way a lot of the times. And I'm just that type of nigga. Like, I'm not following niggas. Like, I'm not out here, oh, this is what somebody did. I'm going to do this too. I'm only doing what make common sense for me. I'm not going to say, I want to be with you forever, baby, and never fuck another girl in my life. That ain't a good deal to me. I work my ass off to be rich enough to be able to fuck the baddest bitches in the world sometimes if I want to have fun sometimes. So I don't want to do that. That ain't what I naturally want to do. Am I going to fake it? Because I'm going to do some shit everybody doing and they saying, you're getting old, thug. You're going to be old and lonely. You're going to be by yourself. You're going to be... No, nah, I don't care about that. I'm going I'm to live right now. Okay? I'm going to live my life right now. And that's what it is, man. And you can come or leave, but either way it is, I'm going to be happy because I'm going to be keeping it real with you and everybody else. And then, you know, you get a good one, you get one, she going to be with the shit. She going to say, hey, let's do a threesome. Hey, let's do a party. Let's turn up. Let's do this. And then you're going to be really living in heaven. What up, bro? But I know a lot of y'all regular. I'm just a rapper. A lot of y'all regular, and this ain't going to be good for y'all. It's just entertainment for y'all. I'm just describing, you know, to the niggas who out there who, who want to be stand on business, bosses, hard workers of the world. It's the same thing. You got people who chase hard work, and you got people who try to skip their way and scheme their way. It's the same thing with marriage. You got people who choose to make that shit real and be together for real and see over time. And you got people who try to rush that shit and lock shit down to benefit themselves versus versus it being real. I'm too old for that. I am too old for that. Ladies, I will tell y'all that. All the ladies out there, if your baby daddy cheating and shit, and I mean your husband cheating. If your husband is cheating and y'all done got married and you can see it for better or worse than this nigga done pay for that wedding... Do not leave him over that, man. Do not leave your husband over cheating. The nigga you, the next nigga you talk to is gonna cheat on you too. Be by the way, but only the next nigga ain't gonna love you as much because you got kids and shit, and you gonna have to take care of him. It's gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? If this nigga ain't die hard kicking your ass, and if he just cussing you out a little bit, everybody gonna do that. If he a nigga who gonna um, y'all gonna hate each other. You in marriage, you're not gonna love the motherfucker the whole time. That's why they say for better or worse. You're gonna go through maybe a year or two, it's it's a hundred years. You might go ten years hating the motherfucker. That's not a lot when you talking about it ain't even a ain't no such thing as cheating when it, it is a such thing as cheating, but to a certain extent. If you married to a motherfucker and you just dip out ahead of time, it ain't breaking it ain't about leaving marriage. That ain't a that ain't a, a option to leave marriage to me. I don't agree with that. Because if you didn't got married, you didn't sign down to deeper terms. You didn't say it for better or for worse. Y'all gonna have issues. When you get married, you should accept. I mean, you should expect, oh man, this shit probably, we gonna probably cheat. We gonna probably have some arguments that we ain't gonna fuck with each other for a few. That's what real marriage is. Not the motherfucking, um, not the, uh, right. Not the, uh, not the Disney World shit you see on TV. Real marriage gonna have cheating going on. Y'all gonna have to go through y'all shit, separate a little bit, figure it out, figure out that it's better to work with the kids. And you know, it's gonna be drama. Ain't no relationship you have in life gonna be good all the time, motherfucker. Straight up like that. Hit the blind homie right. <laughs> Everybody who I see married, I see them go through tough times good times, all that shit. It's going to be like, you're going to have to, if you decide to marry a person, you have to not expect this shit to be all the way good. This shit going to be fucked up. You got to expect five to ten years of shit being fucked up before you get married. Because that's what most marriages are. Y'all be in serious relationships and counting in marriage. Y'all date for five years, then get a divorce. Or we married for, what the other girls just got a divorce in a year and a half? I done had them relationships that wasn't marriage, though. That was a, a serious relationship. Life is transferable. It ain't no forever shit, keeping it real. Everybody going to come and go. Everybody in your life is going to come and go. 
everybody in your life is going to come and go. You feel me? So understand that, man. Year and a half. That wasn't no marriage. That was a lick for her. Get married, I give me a check out this shit. That's just a serious relationship. How many serious relationships you done had? Oh, I was with that nigga for two years. I went over for one year. Dated old girl there. All that. Come on now. Y'all get married when it's really just a serious relationship. But because y'all so dumb and been trained to do this dumb shit, get married fat. Oh, uh, bitch, he been with you two years and they married you? You got stupid people, special ed people telling you rules. You been with that motherfucker two years, he ain't ready to drink the milk at the house? Fuck him, move on. That's stupid. And stay away from stupid shit. Come get a reading, they will help you find true love. Man, I probably got true love. Y'all don't know what I got, kid. I just live like a king, and y'all y'all want niggas to live like Americans. I checked my bloodline on 23andMe. It said I was West African. I'm a king, man. They say if you got your money right, you can have up to five wives. It ain't even about that for me. Ladies, I'm a, I was going to tell y'all, my bad, I got um, throughout. That shit wear out, man. I ain't got the energy to be smashing no bunch of bitches that, whoa, what the fuck is this? I got staggers at this hoe. My camera game trash now. Got all kind of shit going. I'm beautiful days, man. Fellas, you better get outside and find your queen. They out here taking care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but real life, that shit wear out, man. All that shit you arguing about in marriage right now in the 30s where he fucking other bitches and he gonna get tired of that shit. And they gonna run out of energy in 40. I ain't got the energy for that shit, man. It's 10 o'clock. Do I pick talking to this bitch, drinking when this shit, I hate drinking. I'm tired of drinking this motherfucking tequila. B dot, what up? He's the bad. So yeah, it's like, man, I'm tired, man. I'm, I'm tired of killing myself with this tequila, chasing these hoes and Man, every once in a while, maybe, but I ain't got the energy to be out here doing this shit at 40 something. So it's just about staying down. You know what I'm saying? It's just about staying down through the ups and downs of your marriage. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna fuck up whatever level you on. But if you already invested with kids with this motherfucker, nobody's gonna love that kid like they kid. You feel me? So if y'all got a whole three children, five children, you know, man, fix that. Just go through your cheat back. At worst, motherfucker. Like, go fuck somebody else that's gonna get that shit out for you. But don't leave. What the fuck? Now you really going to some fucked up shit. You really about to struggle. And if the nigga die hard killing you and beating you up or some shit, okay. I'm not saying don't leave that. But if y'all arguing, he calls you a bitch and it hurt your feelings, listen, man. Everybody gonna call you a bitch. You see what I'm saying? Y'all be too sensitive and letting little shit break up shit that's supposed to be real. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. I don't I don't say you should have no side piece. I don't that's that's cheating. You know what I'm saying? I will say that's cheating. Now when you holding shit down with a, another girl or whatever, y'all got a whole relationship, just stick and move, fellas. Like, you know, that's how you gotta do it. You gotta stick and move. Cause that woman, cause you become, you know what you start doing? That's when you had them side babies, right? Because you kissing this mother, your side bitch in the mouth, talking about the main bitch. That's when you getting too deep in that shit, kid. You got to just stick and move. Bubba Dub, what it do? You can't be out here just... Because uh, now, y'all got text messages adding up and shit. You know what I'm saying? You married, nigga. You can't be doing all this crazy ass shit, fool them. You know, when you... You think this shit gonna be the good forever? Like, never, nigga. It's never good. Nothing is good forever, nigga. Nothing is good forever. Understand that. Just like, think about your life for a second. Crazy ass man. What bitch in the history of your life have you not got into it with at some point? Now, you thought y'all was the coolest motherfuckers for six straight months. And after that, the bitch been telling and doing all kind of shit. We all know this. We know that this is what is going to happen. So you have to, if you already locked in, married, stick and move, nigga, don't be doing too much. You know what I'm saying? You stick and move. You don't do too much, kid. You know what I'm saying?
Hey, you're not cheating. If you black, you're not cheating. Oh, shit, I got to go to you, Dr. J. I'm pulling up today, Dr. J, my bad. I'm finna hop in the shower and head that way, kid. I'm finna do this three. Yeah, we early. It's 11.41. We got time. I can finish this. Yeah, so first of all, this is it's, it's all kind of rules to this shit, right? Let me tell y'all how this shit go. It is levels to this shit now. If you got your shit right, fellas, this is what I, I encourage everybody to do if you black. And I'm going to tell you why I say this. And I say this shit down there every day. So if you knew, you're just hearing this. But I say this all the time. So listen. Do your re... If you, a care, if you care about yourself, do your research. It's Black History Month. Stop studying when motherfuckers were slaves and shit and white people kicked our ass. We don't want to hear that dumb ass shit. Like, fuck that. Where did we come from, though, before that? Everywhere you go in the world, they don't say... If I go over in Paris and I say, hey, what you, what's up, bro? What are you... The nigga gonna say, I'm Nigerian, I'm whatever, I'm African or whatever. He gonna say that type of shit. We gonna just say we black. Like, now, nah, we gonna go deeper than that. Do your bloodline test. Find out where the fuck your, your, your blood come from. Study that a little bit. Do a little looking around over there and see what that shit is. Study that history, because that's who you really was before they drug you over here and kidnapped you, right? So study that history. And then you're going to start feeling better about yourself. You're going to start realizing, travel a little bit, nigga. Go to Africa. Go to Africa a little bit. You're going to say, man, what the fuck? These white, these white folks got me living like them on this scam ass shit. We over here on some European shit. We talking like English motherfuckers. We African. What the fuck is we doing? You know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to wake up and see. And you're going to start saying, you know what? Fuck trying to be like them. We just over there because they made us go over there. I feel more natural with the rules that come from my bloodline. Having five wives because I got my money right make more sense. You feel me? Be, you could be a king in Africa. Ain't no kings in America. Ain't no, you see what I'm saying? You start feeling like, you know, do your bloodline test, nigga. We got the blood of kings and queens, nigga. Like, we ain't the, like these people over here who just on some American shit. No, we kings and queens. I'm moving like that. I don't give a fuck what they talking about over here. You know what I'm saying? Do your history. It's, America is a young motherfucking world. You ain't from Africa, you from Christian, I'm up, you're right. <laughs> That's why you can't do no threesomes, B dot. That's why you gotta have one woman for the rest of your life, kid, because you over there from Crenshaw Mafia and you living like white folks. This is white people who came up with all these rules that y'all living by. This is not your bloodline. I gotta go, my shit about to cut off. I